Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. And I'm Hillary. And we wanted to do this video together to show you what we got during the Sephora friends and family sale. Um, we were both lucky enough to be given codes to get 20% off. Um, so we picked up quite a few things. Yes. Yeah, and wanted to show you because Sephora VIB sale is going on right now. And so maybe this would give you some ideas of products to pick up while you get the 20% off, because that's huge. Yeah. Um, and you got your things in store. Yes. I bought my things online. I like to do online for things I know I want that I don't have to swatch or anything. Um, Cause that way I can get the free samples and then I also can use Ebates and get cash back. Ooh. Um, yeah. So nice, we're both on Ebates. I've talked about it before. If you're not on Ebates and you do any online shopping, you need to be on Ebates to get cash back. Um, so it just makes more sense for me to buy it online. Very, it ships, support ships so quickly. So love that. So we can jump right in. Yay. Yeah. Get started, girl. Okay. Well, um, I got, like Lindsay said, I got my coupon in Sephora. And the main reason I wanted to pick up a few things is because I was getting my engagement photos done and my foundation color changed since the summer. And I just wanted a new foundation, something that would photograph really well. So I went in, luckily I saw the makeup person, the makeup artist mm -hmm. there that I always go to. So she was able to hook me up kind of with like a new fresh face look. So actually, I'm going to start right when I walked in she was like okay like before she even took off my makeup she was like okay like I can already tell that your skin is so dry she's like you're you're so young like I shouldn't tell you you've noticeably dry skin right away so she took off my makeup and she's like you really should consider using oils which I do use oils um, in the evening mm -hmm. like before I go to bed to really lock in that moisture but I don't use them in the morning because I'm afraid it's gonna like react weird with my makeup and like yeah, maybe sure. make it break down more. But necessarily, I mean that's not necessarily true. I just assumed that. So she um, put some oil on my face, but she recommended this kit here, Dare to Oil. So it has, I think it's like a total of two milliliters between all of them. So it has the Ole Hendrickson. Okay, how do you say this? Josie Marin. Yeah, that's what I think it is. And then, wait, no, I think it's two ounces between the two of them. It's more than that, more than two milliliters. Oh yeah, I, I didn't mean to say milliliters. <laughs> I meant to say ounces. I don't know the conversion, so I'm like, oh. either. <laughs> and then it has Tarte and Algis. Yeah. Anyway, I use the Ole Hendrickson, that's what I use at night. But yeah, I actually really like those products. Yeah, I ran out, so I was like, okay, I'll pick up the travel that's size so cool. one. So now I've been starting to use oils in the morning, just really hydrating my skin. I'll put on um, some oil on my face and neck, and then I already, this is the one that I don't have, but I have a bunch of the other Ole Hendrickson um, moisturizers, but this one is the Truth Cream Advanced Hydration. So she put on the oil and then the Truth Cream, and just let it sit in a little bit, and my skin was like already glowing, oh like gosh. and so radiant, and just started with moisturizing. That's so great. that's what I wanted to come through in our photos, just like really glowy skin. But she started off with this, and I was like, okay, like I need to start really hydrating my skin yeah. in the morning. Your so skin looks great. Thank you. <laughs> so that was my first part. So okay, on to you. All right. So this is something that's new that I was interested in. There weren't many reviews when I Ooh. picked it up, so I thought it'd be something fun to try because I'm a nail polish junkie. This is the Ciate Gel Tox Starter Kit. So basically the idea is that you can turn any nail polish into like gel polish. You just paint your nails, let them dry totally, and then there is the um, Gel Tox top coat, and then you cure it under the LED light that comes with it. So I thought that'd be like a fun thing to try because my nails, if you followed me at all, you know I have thin nails, so that just makes nail polish chip really easily when they bend. Um, and I'm always looking for something to make nail polish last longer. So, um, and I was interested in it because, especially because of the LED light, which if you know anything about like gel nails, LED cures like in half the time yeah. of UV. So when you're doing a couple nails at a time, it makes a big difference in the long run. And I also use like other gel products. So I thought the LED light would be nice to have. Um, so very mixed reviews on the Sephora website. I've only tried this once and I can tell you, I was very impressed. I could tell that it worked and made my nail polish last longer. Now, is it gonna last two weeks? No, but nothing does on me, so that's okay. Um, and I'm not gonna use it every time. It's only gonna be when I like really want my nail polish to last. So um, one thing I'll notice is a lot of people said that they like it did not cure their polish, that they did it 10 times, still didn't cure. 
I, the first time I tried it, I just did a test on one nail and it was the same thing. Like I went to um, cleanse the nail afterwards and it all just came right off. Oh. So I think the trick for me is I had to like wiggle the plug a little bit and make sure that the plug was really plugged into the LED light well enough because then the light was so much brighter. Like mm. you can tell when it's working and then it worked great. So I'm wondering if those people maybe if their light wasn't on the way it should. So that's just um, a little tip. Um, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. I've only tried it once, so I don't have a big review on it, but that's it. I feel like in the long run though, that would kind of save money because then you don't have to buy like special gel nail polishes. Yeah. Because you can use any type yeah, of Yeah, and that's what I loved about it. It's totally, you can use any nail polish you have. And for me, like especially, like if I want to do a jet black nail, to me, that's so sleek, but then as soon as you get a chip in it, it like ruins yeah. it. So if I'm gonna do something like that, I want it to last more than three hours. Right. So cool. That was cool. Awesome. Okay, so moving on to the face. Um, like I said, I wanted a new uh, foundation and something that would photograph really well. So um, she did the skin ID on me, and I wish I had worked out my number. You can get it tonight. We're I, can't get it, I can't get it redone, but like I just wish I would have had it because then yeah. I would have placed an order online. Yeah. Like matching my skin Well, if you tone. know what color you are, you can go on the website and it'll tell you what skin ID you are based on the color you wear. Okay, well clearly I did not research that, so I missed out on that <laughs> opportunity. But she recommended this because she said it would photograph beautifully. So it's the Lancome Nude Miracle Liquid to Powder Makeup. And it says weightless feel and a bare matte finish. She said a matte finish would photograph really well. So this is what it looks like. And I... Um, okay, I'll do that story later. But anyway, I love this foundation. So it comes in a squirter, like a little dropper. And she squirted in like just a full full squirt in her hand. And it looks like water in her hand, like super watery Those makeup. are the best. So I'll just like show you. Okay, feel how like watery that is. Whoa. Super thin. It's so thin. Okay, and anyway, so then she used an airbrush 55 and literally used the, the lightest strokes and just like, and just like blend. She didn't even really bend, blend it. She pretty much just like kind of painted it on my skin. It, it literally felt like water. Wow. And so, um, let's see how thin. So wow. it really covered up everything really nicely because I naturally am kind of have a little rosy cheek. Um, I had blemishes on my chin at the time. Now the thing is that it, it dries to like a powder. So you don't really want to put powder on top of powder. So she just set it with some Marc Jacobs like uh, clear setting powder. I had the Laura Mercier, yeah. so I didn't even need that. So I just like really, I mainly do it here on like my oil zones. So it's kind of like kind of like fluff the brush and just like get to stick on there. Um, if not, it'll just look too powdery. Um, so she used that and it just matched my skin tone perfectly, and I just loved how it felt. Um, oh, and right. when I wore it that day, it didn't, um, what's that word? Like the flat, oh, what? Like when it comes away, like oxidize. That's when it like turns orangey or just like breaks down. Okay. Yeah. It breaks down. It didn't break down too much, but then, uh, one day it was a little bit warmer and I did notice it was breaking down a little bit here. Maybe I could have used some more powder there in the morning. Yeah, it's hard to not powder something up. But, um, yeah, I love it. So I've been using that every day and I just really love it. But she said, make sure you don't like really smudge it in there because it won't, it won't like lay right. You just have to like, like really air wash it. Wow. Yeah. And I love its finished stuff. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I picked up Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Spray. redness reducing pore minimizing oil absorbing so basically I get dry skin in the winter I don't want to look like I'm like powdery caked on makeup and I'm especially dry since I've been on retin-a so I was looking I know Urban Decay changed the names of their sprays they used to have one that was doomy for like a moisturizing mm -hmm. finish so I was looking that up and didn't really see it so I guess they don't have that anymore so I, I thought it yeah, I thought this might be their new version of that. I don't think it is, but you're supposed to like spray it on your face before you do makeup or anything, which I don't really do. I use it for a setting spray afterward. Just kind of like blend everything together because yeah. I have dry skin. So then when you spray it, it like makes the dry skin look like it's not even there anymore and just make everything look healthy. So I don't know. I've been liking it so far. Um, I hope it's moisturizing. I do see that it has alcohol in it. So maybe that's a problem, but we'll see. Okay, cool. Oh, one thing that I didn't mention about the new makeup is that um, since it does like form to a powder, like if you have some dry spots, it probably would Sounds be a little it. flaky. So yeah. like I did have some like breakouts on my chin that were like healing. 
So I like really didn't put that much on my chin because I didn't want to accentuate that. So I mainly covered that up with like my concealer, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the Lancome Complete Coverage Concealer. Um, it says it hides imperfection and is great with under eye circles. So I am in color Claire 2, which I was kind of confused when she used this color on me because it's like kind of dark and has a, red, has a red undertone. I don't know. If you is that for under eye circles? Yes. Yeah. So when she put it on, it definitely was red. I was like, okay, how's this going to conceal my under eye circle? But it is really lightweight and has like kind of that slippery, like silicone mm -hmm. finish. Um, but then on top of it, she put this Bobbi Brown corrector, which I am color porcelain beige. And it says, this is for extra dark circles. Apply the corrector to your under eyes. And it says, um, cover with powder to set it so I'm porcelain beige and this one and then with the two together it really hit it like this Ooh. is just a little bit bigger I mean <laughs> bigger thicker but over um, wow that looks the nice. concealer it just really hid my this is with the porcelain beige it just really hid my under eye circles well. Wow. So one day I didn't use this. Like I wanted to see like, I was like, how is this just really covering up if it's like a red undertone? And I didn't use it and I no really noticed my circles that yeah. day. So well, it makes like, sense if you have like those, um, if your under eye circles tend to look a little more green, they use like the orangey red to okay. kind of act that. So That's true. it makes sense. I mean, if, yeah. So both of these together cool. have cool. been combating my under eye circles. So yay. Right, so I love a beauty blender. I've used beauty blenders for years and years. And when I do bridal makeup on a bridal party, I need multiple so that I'm not like washing it and disinfecting it in between each girl. So I wanted to pick up some more. So I picked up two of the black, which is yeah, like the order they had that. So cool. So just dropped the case. So it doesn't, don't worry about it. So I wanted the black because the pink, they're cute. But when I throw them in my makeup case, sometimes they get against like my index cards where I have written what makeup I've used on the girls and things. And then the ink would transfer on them and it didn't, it never came off. Like oh, I had no. black spots all over it from ink and things. So I thought the black just looked more professional, would stay cleaner. One thing I wanted to mention, there are fake beauty blenders. So I ordered a double pack on Amazon like two years ago because it was so much cheaper even than getting them with the Sephora discount. So I ordered them, got them, and they were a different texture. Hmm. And I thought, well, maybe they just kind of changed it because it had been years since I bought other ones. No, going back to the beauty blender, so much thicker, more durable. My other ones are like flaking away and I have ones that are even older than the fake ones and they're still perfect. So wow. spend the money, get the real one. They will last you a very, very long, I mean years. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. So the ones on Amazon that I got, totally fake. I like the black, it's like sleek. So sheet. sleek, yeah, I love it. Very cool. Okay, so um, I went in a new eyebrow pencil. Um, the one that I was using was an hourglass and it was shaped like a triangle, but I felt like the the hairs um, in the front, like near my nose, are so fine that when I was filling it in with like that more of a triangle shaped one, it was kind of just like giving me color, like a <laughs> crayon. Yeah. So I wanted something that was super thin where I could really like just mimic little eyebrows. Um, so I got the Lancome Brow Expert in 101 Blonde. So it has a super thin tip, and that's what I was looking for. Well, wow, that's so fun. Yeah, so um, that's really great just to really um, define my brows and then give me those little little hairs, and it comes with a little comb, which is great. That's perfect. And there's like a little comb within the comb. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just excited about this, and I love the color, it matches my eyebrows, I mean my hair. They're great, so. Okay, so. I picked up Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Ooh. I have the regular. I have loved Chocolate Soleil since they came out with it. Well, then they they like split them up. It was just one, and then now it's Milk Chocolate, and then the regular. Mm. The regular is darker than the original used to be because sometimes I have a hard time with it all over my face. So I wanted the Milk Chocolate. So what I've been doing, using the original for contour, and then going all over my face with this because it's matte just a healthy look it's not orangey it's just perfect so. yeah that is a really nice color yeah okay um next i will do i love um i just love these sephora waterproof um eyeliners so i got some cool ones i use them to tight line because they don't come off but then also for my job like i don't have to have like 
perfectly made up makeup every day like so I don't need that so I love to just apply just like these eyebrow pencils so I got um, like a purple a green and then I got a new black um, I just really like them and they're waterproof and they stay that's really nice. well that's good to so. know because the Sephora line is a lot cheaper than yeah the other so ones. I love them on to you okay so I can't find my tweezers I'm sure it's just in one of my drawers and I just can't find it. But so I thought I'd pick up a new one anyway. And so I got the Tweezerman Pink Perfection Slant Tweezer. Here is what it looks like. Everybody raves about tweez Tweezerman. My last was a Tweezerman, so I liked it. Um, yeah, I'm not like blown away thinking it's the most amazing thing ever. I feel like it's still, I have to use it only on a certain angle to be able to get the hair. Mm, that's annoying. But it's good and it works, so. Tweezers no, or tweezers? It, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, my next item is, um, I had to get a new Airbrush 55 Pro, um, my other two were like super dingy, <laughs> so I just had to update, yeah, just update and get a new one, so I picked one of those, they're so good. Yeah, and I like the case that slips on this way, just like popped it up, nice. good to go. So I picked up two foundation primers, I picked up the present, which uh, I have used, I got this last year at during the sale and i still have some left but it just lasts so long and it's two ounces so it definitely lasts a long time love it really feel like it helps me make it last longer absolutely um but i also wanted to try on something i feel like i like that more for summer especially when i have a hard time keeping makeup from breaking down so i wanted right. to pick up the hourglass uh, veil mineral primer because this is like the highest rated foundation primer ever everybody raves about it um kind of mixed of how it is for oily skin but in winter i have more dry skin so it just feels like silk when you put it on Heck yeah 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 put some on it feels good when you put it on and then i think it just helps your makeup just kind of glide over so i like it so far i've only tried mm, it a couple times it does feel good yeah it just feels, feels really good so smooth okay awesome um another thing i picked up was the kat von d ink liner and you like that one right i do i yeah. love it but this is the fat size mm. so the I got the fat pen. So just a little bit larger mm -hmm. and just can really create like a nice. That's fat so black. Eye. So yeah, got that because I love this eyeliner. Nice, yeah, a lot of people like that. I picked up a backup of my Bamboo Smooth Kendi Oil Dry Mist, Dry Oil Mist Ultimate Frizz Control. That is what I need to get tonight. Yes, we'll put it on a list. We're going to the uh, the event tonight for, for Sephora. So Yes, love this. Use it all the time. It's a spray. It smells wonderful. It's a very nice light oil. And when you get 20% off, you stock up for the year. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, one of the last things I picked up was this Nest frag Fragrance in Midnight... How do you say that? Fleur? Fleur. Fleur. There you go. So, um, I just it's love this smell. such a beautiful bottle. I love that. Yeah. Isn't that so pretty? But it's, it's so like pretty. dark. It's mm -hmm. not musky, but I'm it's more like... It's definitely to, like a winter scent though. I yeah. Think. Just more it's like a, there's a there. Yeah. I'm not like fruity, but it's like, it's so it's me. Nice. It's like me in a bottle. Mm -hmm. So next time you get Sephora, go spray it on you. And you'll, get to, you'll know what my best friend smells like. Yeah. So I picked up Naked Basics 2 by Urban Decay. I never got the original Naked Basics. I just felt like as much as I'd probably use it, I felt like I had those colors. And I'm totally a neutral eye girl. As yeah. much as I feel like I should branch out like day to day, a neutral eye is what works. And yeah, and these are a little more cool toned than the original. So I thought that would be nice, but I just, I, it's what I'm wearing now. Really, really liking this yeah. for all of these crease blending shades. Yeah. They're all matte except for this one, which has like a little bit more of a satin um, finish. And there's so many reviews of this, but I guess I'll swatch it anyway. So here's, I'm not even gonna name them. There's that first shade. I'm just gonna swatch them all here right in a row. Hmm. One, two, three. I can't remember which one I just swatched. This is a mess. <laughs> all right, so here are all the swatches in the row and then here's the darkest one. So love them. I love that this has a little bit of a sheen and then all the rest are matte. Such great quality. I mean, you can't go wrong with Urban Decay shadows. Yeah. And yeah, I just, I just love, love, love all these blending shades because for me, those are the ones that are hard to find. So even if you're not gonna do just just use this and just do a strictly matte eye. This will come in handy for any other palette you want to use because I feel like almost, I mean, most of the eye looks that I'm going to do, 
are gonna need some kind of a neutral crease blending shade. Even if they're shimmer, even if they're more of a color, you need some neutral in there. And so this will be so versatile for that. So I love like finding a palette with a good crease. Oh, and color. there's so many of them. And so yeah. I literally use them all because a lot just, of them are good. And you can build up on them too. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had a bunch of points. I had a I had a mascara around here, but I don't know where right there. No, another one. Oh. It's cool though. Um, so I got a sample of the Sephora Outrageous Curl. So I actually, one day, it was Clinique one, I don't know where it went, but whatever. Um, I put this on, it's super wet, which I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But I wish, there, there we go, we're gonna get this out. It has like a super mini brush. Wow, that's so weird. And you can see how it kind of clumps up on there. So I tried to like wipe it off and it goes on really wet and it's like, oh my gosh, I have so much mascara on my eyebrows, but then I kept combing it through and it made them so long. So wow. just one of those that like you have to keep That's combing so cool. through and like kind of getting all that extra out of there. But then like they just looked beautiful and I did get some compliments on my, on my mascara that day. So it was a free, I think it was a 100 point, but I love picking up 100 point Sephora. I mean, um, mascara samples. So I know because then they like last plenty yeah, long. They enough. last for, for a very yeah. long time. All right, so I picked up the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara in Black. I get this every year. I just love it. It's pretty much the only thing I use under my eyes because it has that tiny little wand and it's like so water resistant, never flakes, never smudges, which is so important. So pretty much use it every day. And then I also picked up an oldie but a goodie, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Ooh. Primer Potion. Gotta have it. Haven't had this in years. Like this is what I started out using years <laughs> ago on YouTube. Um, I love the new package. I mean, it's not that new. It's been around for a while, but new to me. Um, I normally use MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre for my base, but I just feel like sometimes it's too yellow and it dries out pretty quickly. So sometimes it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a, a lot and I want something more liquidy and more neutral than that. So this is nice because it has like a touch of coverage. Yeah. Which is really silky and I just love how it feels too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it so feels nice. really good. I have that. Um, Remember that mascara I was putting on right before? Yeah, that's what, what it was. I figured. Oh, well. Put it back in and then I got, as my one year anniversary to VIB. I didn't Rouge, even know this was a thing, by the way. I got a Formula X. That's so, so nice. Rare. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I had too. Just I got my samples, but then I got one of the 100 perks too. They had like a bunch of the mascaras. So I got the Givenchy. Noir Couture Volume Mascara Volume Extreme. Have not used this because I don't need it. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that sick bottle. It's like, that is so pretty. I love that. Let's see what this wand looks Ooh. like. Ooh, different. It's like an hourglass it's like a wand. Body of a woman. I know, a little tapered in the inside, so <laughs> doesn't have a smell, so we'll have to see how that is. All right. Woo! So those are the things that we got during the friends and family sale. We are going tonight for the VIB like event. Yeah. Um to get our sample bags. I think it's a sample bag, right? Yeah, and just to see things in person, right? And just get, I need some like more moisture, like yeah. face care items, yeah. so. Yeah. And so, now I have to like get a few things like that bamboo spray and. Gotta get it while it's 20% off. Yeah. And I wanna go because there are some things that I have on my list that I want, but I wanna see them in person first. So to make sure, cause I don't wanna buy something and then have to return it. So I wanna make sure that I like it, get some swatches, but I, and then I'll probably go online and order them to get the Evades. Money. Yeah, and they get free samples. So, Ebates if you don't. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for Yay. Hillary for being here. We've done this a couple years in a row now, so it's so fun. Oh, I love it when you're here. here. So, very good. All okay. Right. Let us know what you are getting during the VIB sale and if you have any suggestions for us. Talk to you soon, everybody. Bye.